Hey guys, it's Felicia with Half Live Wrap the Living. Today is Friday, April 7th. And before we jump into this weigh-in video, as well as I wanna share with you guys how I am now aiming to eat more like an athlete, had a whole mindset shift. Um, I wanna share with you guys something that is really bringing me joy right now. So, there are a few items in my life that are bringing me joy, but the first one is this cute bowl. Look at that. It is so cute. I got this bowl from Marshalls, I believe, this past weekend. It's by Table Creation, not sponsored. Like, none of this is sponsored. But I have two of these, and this is what I'm currently eating out of. They're just so beautiful, and they make me happy. And then, I also purchased new meal prep containers. I'll share with you guys what I've been eating for the week, and you'll see those meal prep containers there. But I also have this one that I cannot wait to use. It's a bento box, but it's like stacked. Let's open it. <laughs> but I can't wait to use this tomorrow for my race. It was $6.99, again, at Marshalls. You guys know I'm a budget girl. But it has two compartments. Look at that. And then, see, it has like the ice thing down here. Like if you wanna put your ice in there to keep your food cool, you can do that and then have your food here. Or you can like take the ice container out and put more food there if you wanted to. I thought that was pretty cool. $6.99 bento box and who made this thing? This is by Rusabe, R-U-S-S-B-E. Rusabe stack right there. That company made it. It's a stackable chill and pack. Feel, eat, repeat. I love to eat and I love to repeat it. Bento box. So yeah, just want to share that with you guys. And then I told you in the last video that I got new workout clothes. So this top is by, I believe it's called Running Girl. I'll link the, I'll link the, the sports bra. I have a few of these and I really love them because you guys know one of my pet peeves is like the pads come out. They don't come out in this one. So like they're actually sewn in. So I absolutely love that. And I love that I've been able to run in these with no bounce. So I love that. And then these are just the regular 90 degree. Um, I've been wearing these for years, but I've just always wore black. And like now I, I have some colored ones. Um, 90 degree flex capri leggings. I'll also link those in the description bar below. And just so you know, with the with this, like if you guys buy these from Amazon, it will help my channel. I'll get like a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. Still same price, just it helps me out a lot. So I appreciate it. All right, let's talk about this week's weigh-in and also about what I've been eating this week and also about the mindset switch I've been having where I'm now trying to eat like an athlete. All right guys, so let's chat. I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I mentioned that I unintentionally registered for the Disney Wine and Dine Half Marathon. My goal was to register for the 10K. However, by the time I got there, the 10K was sold out. So if you guys recall in that video, I mentioned that I did not want to raise above 200 pounds like i wanted to be like two like under 200 pounds by the time that i do that half marathon because you know like i want the least amount of pressure on my joints as possible so to me if i can decrease my weight then that'll also like help my speed and also to be just like less weight that my body has to carry and also in that video i share with you guys that i can kind of see where where the half marathon is actually helping me in other areas of my life um, so like even though it's not what I initially went for, it's kind of what I needed. And I don't know if the 10K would have made me feel the same way. Like I don't know if the 10K would have given me that um, feeling of like I'm an athlete again, like I'm training, you know, like an athlete, I need to eat like an athlete. I don't know if the 10K would have done that for me. Because as I mentioned in that video, I'm already walking like 10 miles. I was just looking to get like a little bit faster with that 10K. But with the half marathon, because I know that I want to decrease my weight, and also because I don't want the bus to pick me up, so I'm having to like increase my speed, my mindset has shifted, and now I view myself as an athlete again. I don't care what anyone else says, yes, I'm 200 plus pounds, but I am now training and eating more like an athlete. And in today's video, I want to share with you guys what that means for me. I do want to include like a trigger warning here if anyone struggles with any type of eating disorders um, my goal is not to trigger but i am going to talk about like my personal experience as far as like being a runner and in the past like when i was what i would consider pretty fast and more lean and a lot quicker 
um, and when my running performance was a lot better, like the way that I ate. Um, and it's definitely different than like what you've seen in like some of my previous videos, but I just, I wanna share with you guys, my goal is not to trigger anyone, but I do wanna be honest and just share my experience because it's kind of where I am now. So here we go, let's dive in. So as an athlete, like before, when I, I ran track in high school, like I'm 41 years now, 41 years old now. Like I'm not one of those people where what I did in high school in the past is like my highest level of glory because I've done a lot. Um, but I'm sharing that so that it kind of like all ties together and hopefully it makes sense to how I ended up with the way that I'm currently eating now. Um, so as a, so as an athlete um, in high school, college, and then even like in the military as someone that was very, what I would consider to be serious about running and like my performance with running, like even to the point of like where when I was in boot camp and basic training in the top running group, in the A running group, there were only two females, like myself and one other female, everyone else like males. So like I was that serious about it. So I've never, like during all of that, my weight, like the number on the scale had never been like a major concern for me of like how much I weighed. But on the, on the flip side, I was always very like in tune with how I felt after I ate or like how the foods that I ate made me feel. Um, if there's anyone else out there that is a runner, has ran before, if you've done anything like high intensity, like if you've done CrossFit or any type of group fitness classes, I think you just automatically become very aware of like the way that you eat and like the foods that affect your performance. Like for instance, I never wanted to eat anything that was going to make me feel heavy before I run. And on the same token, um, after I ran or competed or whatever it was that I did, I wanted to be sure that I was able to refuel myself properly, but also like not overindulge because you've got the next run, like you've got the next day. So it's almost like you're eating to refuel, but you're also eating in preparation for the next day. And even in high school, I was very acutely aware of that. Like I wasn't thinking about calories and protein and nutrition and all of that stuff, but I was thinking about I know what I can and can't eat and I knew what would cause me to feel like, you know, a certain way afterwards. So you take all of that into consideration along with all of these years, you know, I've been on this weight loss journey for two years now. And even before then, I've had a lot of time to experiment and just kind of like see what feels good to me, what doesn't feel good to me. And I think that naturally I have fallen back into a caloric deficit. Um, I will actually let me just share with you guys I'll share with you guys some of the meals that I've been eating and we can kind of like go from there okay so I'm currently I'm still fasting with the goal of fasting for 16 hours however if I open my window early like there were two days this week where I opened around 15 hours or so like I don't stress it because I am currently like packing my lunch and eating in between like work so if i have to open early in between patient then it's fine i just go ahead and do it and i'm leaving my eating window open for like eight hours now on average which i don't know like it, it's working for me and i only eat two meals a day no snacking i eat the first meal when i open and then when i'm home from the day i make my second meal and then that's it like i'm not doing any additional snacking or any of that um i'm also drinking a lot more water because again because i'm running like i don't want to i don't want to have cramps i don't want to be dehydrated this past week it was like 90 something degrees here in florida like so the drinking more water it's not even like a drink more water so you lose weight so really it's become more of a like make sure you're drinking enough water and getting enough electrolytes so that you're not dehydrated during your runs and like you're not cramping or being dehydrated during your run and yeah it's definitely paying off you guys i can see where my speed is getting faster like for instance i'll insert here on monday i went out for a three miler like just to start increasing that speed and you guys remember i started off like just not even a month ago doing 21 minute miles. So you can see here where um, my pace was 1447, which for me is incredible. I was really proud of that. I'm getting that split time down. And then also that, okay, so that was on Monday. And then on Wednesday, my Garmin told me that I broke 
that I now have two new records. It mentioned that my fastest 5K was at 44.35, and then also my fastest mouse split, which is like in a long time since I've been using this watch, is 13.53, so that was incredible. And for a total of five miles, my pace was 14.37. So you guys can see I'm starting to consistently be able to So as you guys can see, I'm starting to consistently hold that 13, 30 um, minute mile pace, which is incredible from 21 minutes to 14 is really good within like a month's time. That's incredible. So I'm really proud of myself. And then also not only is it showing in my runs, oh, and also on the scale, it's helped as well. So you guys know, but the week before I weighed in, um, that video is here on the channel. In the last video, I weighed in at video, I was 221.4. And this morning, I weighed in because I have that 5K. Even though it's Friday, I went ahead and weighed in early because I have a 5K tomorrow. It's actually a mud run. And usually after like workouts like that, I tend to get very, very inflamed. So I just kind of wanted to know like where I was prior to that. So this morning I weighed in at, I'll put it here, 219.6. Yes! <laughs> that is freaking incredible. I am so excited. That is a loss of 1.8 pounds. You guys, I feel like I can really, really do this. Like I really do. I feel like, so it, you know, you always have to find your different whys. And I guess like for me, I initially started this journey because it was something I had promised myself for years that, you know, once our daughter graduates high school, like I was really gonna zoom in and focus and like get the weight off. Like I knew that I was going hard. I'm still going hard, but I, I was going real hard. <laughs> like we were dropped, it, it was a lot. So that's how I started the journey. And I was able, I started this journey at 260 pounds. I was able to get those first 40 off and then kind of like hit a little bit of a plateau. But for me, even in that plateau, it doesn't feel like nothing happened because during that time, I started back on hiking, I increased my mileage. I really allowed my body to kind of like get used to the new me, like get used to like, whoa, like this is what she's doing. Like I didn't freak my body out. Like I just feel like it's now it's time. Like I've I've maintained, I now know that, you know what? Like it's time, like it's time to go to the next level, to the next 30 to 40 pounds. Like, let's just go ahead and do it. I am ready to release the weight. Like mentally, I made a huge mindset shift. And I think that for me, because I do have this thing like about like dieting and stuff like that. Like I'm not, I don't know, I've been there, done that. Like when I was younger and I've learned that diets don't work. But what I do know works is eat, for the person that you're wanting to be. So like, if you're trying to be an athlete, and again, I don't want this to trigger anyone, but like, like, let's say for instance with wrestlers, like you have to make weight. If you are a gymnast, like whatever it is that you're doing, like you, it's not about like lose, it's not the mentality of like losing weight. It's about being at peak performance. I think that's more so what I'm trying to say. And now my mindset has shifted to where I want to run this half marathon and beyond. Like the running journey's just started. Like I am, wow, on fire. I keep telling my husband, like, babe, like I'm having so much fun. Like I'm really enjoying this whole running thing. Like I miss that high that I'm feeling again. Like I, I actually miss that. It feels so good. Um, and like challenging myself and pushing myself and like all of this, I, I love it. And now I just want to be able to train and perform at peak performance, like for me, for Felicia, you know? So that's how I eat now. Like I'm now eating like, eating like an athlete, eating like the athlete that I want to be. And I just want to share that with you guys. Like, I don't know if this helps anyone in any type of way. Eat like the person you, eat like the person you want to be. And I think before, like over the last year, over the last few months, I really become very comfortable with like being a person that works and is still active. 
active. Like I had really become like kind of like my mindset was like I was okay. Like I still want to lose weight, but I was really okay with like, you know, I'll lose it when I lose it. Like whenever my body's ready to release it, it's fine. Like I'll be okay with that. But like now, since I kind of have like not a deadline, but I have an event that I want to be able to perform at. It's like Beyonce is inviting me to her stage and you know. <laughs> Anyways, I invited myself to my own stage and I just want to be in peak performance because I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna be running a lot and I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of races because I'm kind of addicted to the way that I'm feeling now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys if you um, if you feel like you're stuck, you know, maybe look at the way that you're eating and just maybe give yourself some tough love. Like if you're, if you're okay with where you are, then like, that's fine. Like, don't even like, just ignore me, just cheer me on and like, just ignore me and like, take it as, oh, that's for Felicia. But like, if you're wanting to continue losing, then really just kind of like tap in and just see what you eat because and that's another thing too is like I no longer look at exercise like you guys are gonna see like I'm gonna be putting in a lot of miles over the next few months six seven months six months here but I don't look at my exercise and my runs as like things that I do to lose weight like those are just things that I do like to be in shape and like to be able to perform you know at a certain level and um to manage stress but i definitely look at like what i eat now because it's really you hear people say it all the time it's what you do in the kitchen that matters it's true so get you some cute bowls cute silverware cute glasses i mean that was like i have two of those bowls so 4.99 times two i had that bento bowl 6.99 i mean take 20 dollars and just spend on yourself and buy some cute dishes that you love and if you do that then let me know like come back to this video and be like Felicia I got my cute dishes and that's just gonna make me smile so big but I'm rambling I have again that 5k tomorrow I'll try to share some pictures or something like either on Instagram or maybe even on the community tab tomorrow and yeah that's it that's all I have for this video you guys I lost weight I lost 1.8 pounds that is freaking incredible let me do my dance <laughs>